All right, good afternoon. This is Spring Meadow by Stronghold Games. And this is a tile laying game where, we're playing it with four players today. This is a tile laying game where we're, our goal is to fill in from bottom to top as best we can our, our little snowy fields here. And we're gonna, spring is coming, so we're, we're filling them in with grassy, grassy pieces and, and rocks. And so our goal in scoring is to, to work, the way scoring works is we're only going to be able to score completed rows. We'll score all completed rows from the bottom up um, and the first incomplete row. So if I, have, if I have these two rows completely full, I'll score 10 points for this one, 10 for this, and then anything I have in this row. But even if I have a bunch of stuff filled in up here, if this row is incomplete, nothing above is going to score. And you'll also notice there's, there's little marmot holes on the board and those it's best if you can to leave uncovered like if you can place a tile like this so that the marmot hole stays uncovered I have two reasons one is at the end of at the in the scoring round at the end of the round when we score each marmot hole that you've left uncovered with a piece is going to get you one extra point and also if you need to cover up a hole with a piece like that the only way you can cover a hole with another piece is if you have an empty hole that you're going to cover with a little marmot. You have to, it's, it's like your fee for covering up a hole, is you have to have one empty that you can put a little marmot on. So that's what these little tiles are for. Uh, another thing um, is that at the, it's kind of a little catch-up mechanism, but after we do scoring, whoever is, whoever has the the most points at the end of the round is going to have to cover up any available marmot holes that they have showing. So they won't be able to use those empty spaces for, for uh, filling in holes on the next round. Is it paper and pencil for scoring or do they have a score chart? Um, you just, it, it's really just the first place. First place is going to get, whoever's first place in the round is going to get one of these little hiking pins. And the first person to earn two hiking pins wins the game. So that's when it ends. Um, the way a round works. So all we have to do is be able to count to two? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have to count a little higher than that for scoring to tell who gets the <laughs> pin, but <laughs> for the end game win condition, right, just a two. Um, and also the first, well, let me get into the way a round works first. Uh, on your turn, there's, there's a signpost and you can take any tile from the row that the signpost is in front of. So if I maybe wanted to take this one. I can take that from this row. I have to place it immediately. And I don't have to place it on the bottom row. But again, I'm not going to score any points if I could place it like that. I'm not going to score any points if that bottom row is not filled in. So I could place it like this. So I've got a hole uncovered. Then I would move that. Doesn't and every be, player take one before you move it? No. Then that's just my turn. And then I'll move it to the next space. And then there's little pips on the edge of the board that tells you who's, whose turn it is. So then second player would draw from this row. You'd play, draw one from this row, place yours, and then move it. And then it would be Jason's turn. Jason would draw from this row. And it just keeps going around and around the board. Uh, when we reach, if we, if we get to a point where there's only, <clears throat> if there's no tiles in the row that you're supposed to draw from or just one, that triggers the end of the round. So uh, Jason, if it got to your turn and there were only, there was just this one left, that would be the end of the round. You'd get this. It gets you two bonus points just because you didn't get to play that turn. Okay. Then we'll do scoring. Uh, and then we would fill in any empty spaces. And whoever uh, whoever won the round would take that tile and turn it over to the pin side. And then we'd start a new round. And again, we keep playing until somebody earns two of these little pins. All right. And I'll just put these back in the way they were. Kept them in order. All right. Yeah. Then any empty spaces we refill. There's a we we haven't used all the we got a whole bag full of extra tiles that we'll refill with. Um, and another another thing to another important thing we've got going in this game is these rock tiles, and they let you fill in uh, different little gaps. The way you earn rock tiles is if you can place. Um, if you can place pieces and arrange them so that the holes are adjacent, um, and that's not a good example. There we go. 
All right, if you can line up two holes, and it doesn't matter what's under the holes, but if you can line up two holes adjacent, then you can earn a one, a one space rock tile. And we just draw them out of the little box over here. But you have to place that immediately, but you can place that then anywhere you want to fill in extra spaces. Uh, and you can keep building on that. So uh, you're gonna, however many adjacent holes you have lined up, you'll get a rock tile for one less than, than the number of holes you've got. So if I've got three holes lined up, I'll get a two space rock tile. The maximum, the biggest rock tiles are four spaces. There's a, there's a square or a angle shaped ones, right angles like that, or there are straight ones like that. Um, so those are, that's a, that's a three space one. Yeah, that's a three space rock tile there. I think I saw one of these in White in the Air Force Base. <laughs> yeah, that's why I thought it looked like a bomber, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so if you, and if you can connect bigger and bigger spaces, but you'll still just get a uh, four space rock tile, or a three space, sorry, a three space rock tile. So after um, the fifth one, these are the fourth four, ones. Right. Yeah. After the fifth one, these are the four space, whoop, the four space rock tiles are squares like that. And that's as big as they come. So even if you were able to manage to put together a, a six space, uh, collection of holes you'd still just get a four a four space rock tile you could also potentially if you if you got two different sections together then you could take two rock tiles so this would be a, a set of three adjacent and this is a set of two so I could take a two space rock tile for that and a one space rock tile for this and you place those immediately and then that's the end of your turn but these don't come off the board they're in a separate supply okay that is got it. that's pretty much it any questions there are a limited amount of these. The instructions say if you run out, you can use something else that they're meant to be unlimited. So in a four-player game, I guess it's possible we could run out if we're really good at arranging holes so that they line up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess we could steal some out of uh, Indian Summer or something if we needed to. I have never had that actually happen in a game, though, where we ran out of those. But it could happen. All right. Who wants to go first? Is that the first place marker? That, oh, this uh, little compass. If you need to take a tile and Close just see how it's going to fit, you can put that there to mark the space. Because oh. as we play, there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be more gaps on the board. And it just kind of serves as a placeholder if you need to kind of see if something's going to fit. You I'll go first. Off. Okay. Could I have the one in that corner? This one? Yes. There you go. Garrick was annoyingly good at putting matching up holes adjacent to each other and getting rock tiles. Yes. Last time we played. <laughs> yes. Annoyingly good. Yeah. And the weird thing is, he says he doesn't like Indian Summer, which is a similar type game, but it scores completely different. But he likes this one. Whatever. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you go 
is there a lot to talk about? The oddball piece. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that. Uh, Is that it? Yep. Yep. And I don't believe I said it, but just to be crystal clear on it, you you can't place any tiles so that they overlap each other or the edges of the board. Like that. Take the far one down there. As tempting as it might be. Thank you. All right. Let's just see. I'll put that right there. would be nice, but I want to see if I can get another hole lined up in that little corner. I'll work with this one. Oh yeah, that looks better. Okay, now I have three adjacent holes in that little spot, so I can take a two-space rock tile. I think she knows what she's right doing. There. I'll put it right there. Oh, he took the bomber. Maybe. Oh, that's not where I thought you'd put that. Yeah, I thought he'd twist a little bit too. <laughs> He's going to have to find a hole next hole, to a though. hole. That would cover up a non hole. Uh -huh. No, if you, we were thinking you put oh. it there. No, I was thinking you put it twisted down there where he's at. But oh, okay. Covered in that little open block of center. Right. All right. Jason. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking about my turn, too. It's like, hmm. Well, I have two choices. Right. So. You can play it. Like a tile. You can play it anywhere you want, right? You can play it all over the board. Um, you're just not going to score unless you have any filled in rows at the bottom. Okay. Can you, can you put the compass there? Mm -hmm. Let's see if this going to fit. I think you can cover three rows in the bottom if you turn it. Let's turn it this just way. Just Ted. Ted. Yep. I'm trying to put names on the board. I okay. Leave this gap there. That would be a good spot for it. Yeah, I think so too. Because I'll leave this open. Right. All right, yeah, that will be my turn. Okay. Thank you. And this will go here. I have to go with this little one, but at least I can finish one row. So yep. when it comes to scoring, I got one out of the way. So we'll move it on down. Okay. Nice long straight one. Those are, could be good, but yeah. not what she needs right now. I'm thinking, oh, oh can I have the compass? That would be nice. I'm thinking that little one would too, but this way. Well, I'll fill in a few more holes. And I'll learn a one space rock tile because I've got two together right here. Twice she's done that to us. I think she's paying attention. Yeah, I need to get a Game Boy out and play Tetris again. <laughs> Alright, and this will move. I'm getting close to the end of a round. <clears throat> He's leaving those pockets. He's definitely got to line some bowls up. I'm going right. to have Jason one choice options. only on mine. Yeah, but neither one of them can fill any of your sins. And this yeah. will be the last. Uh, Actually, I can do this. Supposed to be the last turn for the round because uh, yep. Ted will only have one to choose from, so that'll be. So I don't play it either. Right. 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 Okay. Right. He'll get so the he'll fill. get the two point bonus picnic. Now, does he count table. every partial on the bottom row if it's not filled? Nope. You have to have a complete row. You have to have at least one to get points at all. Right. Okay. Well, no, no. Let me check that. Because like, you could at least try to fill in the one. Double check this. Yeah. What's a partial? Just anything that's 
not solid. You get all the full complete rows from the bottom up plus your first incomplete row above complete. So I've got one okay. full row and then my next one will be a partial. Okay. Uh, so I think you at least get to score the partial if nothing else you completed. Right. So you could fill in you know, one or two of those. Yeah. Yeah, that would be your first. Yeah, I would go with, yeah, I would go with that. But since it's only. You get the most points or you don't, then uh, it won't matter necessarily on either side. So I'd say so, whatever fits best for future rounds. Eric, yeah, I'm terrible with names. You've got two R's? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How long is that long piece? Is that five? It's a lot. <laughs> is that five? Put your marker wheel out there. It's going to cover up that one. That one if it's yeah, you're not going to win this round, so just work with whichever piece fits the future the, the best. Count the fully covered rows starting from bottom right. up to the first incomplete right. row. We're going to advance the signpost. Uh, we'll just we'll just score it and see what goes from here. Yeah, it's fully covered rows. It says. So you didn't okay. get to go. Ted didn't get to go. Ted didn't get to go. So, so Ted gets that two point bonus. Oh, okay. okay. So all these are wiped out, and then we put new ones, or they'll just be filled in. Oh, they'll filled just be on filled in. Okay. Right. All right. Right. So I've got uh, eighteen. I've got eighteen plus two. Okay. So you got twenty. What do you have? Nothing. Okay. Uh, I forgot what you said. The scoring. I'm sorry. She. He has one. It's nothing. Right. 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 If you don't have the yeah. bottom row. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Ted, with his bonus. Gets uh, gets that pin, and I don't, I don't use plus two anymore, right? The plus Correct. two is just for that turn. Correct. Only. Yeah, it's just for that. Right. Just so for I, that round. I have one pin, and then I don't go. We fill the board again. You get to fill the board. Right. <laughs> and you'll be first player in for this round. Let's see. I want this one. No, I can't do it that way. Probably can. I just have to grab them and fill yep. them. <laughs> <laughs> right, no peeking. I got the wings on. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> Signpost next to it. Oop, and then all the way in the corner is fine. Yeah. Right. Looks pretty random. Ted. Ted goes. Yeah. Okay, so I get to pick out that mm -hmm. one. So, let's see if I can line that hole up. Just in case it isn't obvious which one I have out of there. All right, I'm going to cover a hole, which means I have to have a right. Have to have one of those. Oh, I forgot to. Yeah, you won that round, so you would actually have to cover that marmot up. Okay. You have to cover that hole up. All right. There you go. That is an important thing that I said in the. And I, so I probably I cannot cover a hole right now, then, right? Right. Yep. Pull that back. Out. Your window is back out of there. And yeah, you have to have a cleared hole to right. be able to, to place cover there. one up. Oh. oh, and I actually had one more point because I had so there was only one point difference in our scores because I right. had one hole that would count as one extra point. Well, I'm going to take this one out, and I'll have a hole for a marmot in the future that way. Right. Okay. So this will move here. Let's see how this one's going to look over here. It's going to leave a gap. That I don't like. I think you hole. might be able to line up a couple of holes so you get a singleton to fill one of those bottom rows. Hmm. 
see the couple pieces that might work for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go kind of like this that way and that way. I wish that wasn't there. All right. We're going to go in. Nope, 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 nope. and I'll get a toothpaste rock tile. Yeah, I'll do that. And I'll get a toothpaste rock tile. We're lining up three holes here. Put that right there. You can take a smaller rock tile if you want than so the tile that you So this give me a earned. single one, right? Yep, that would fill one of your holes right there. Right. And give you spots where you could possibly put another one up next round, huh? Yeah. So you can take a smaller rock tile than the one you've earned. So if Garrick were to add a third one there, he could take a single rock tile to fill in there if he wanted to do that. not two singles. Right, not two singles, unless you complete two separate right. collection or two separate uh, sets of holes. Do you get a rock? You a rock, you a rock single rock. Mm -hmm. Yep. Whether he needs it or not. Right. <laughs> Oh, back from mine, huh? You want to pull the windrows off there? Let's see. That's the right spot. Oh. Yeah, I moved it. You did. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'd like to try this one right here. This one? Now, I'll cover Marmot Hole, which I have a spot for, okay. yep. and get a three. So I'll need a, a Marmot and a double rock. Although I could take, I'm just going to take a single rock, I guess. I'm take gonna a single that. and fill in your gap. Yeah, I'm going to trade yep. down. Now that I look at it. And go ahead and move the signpost. And the windrows you can pull off. There's me. Yay. <laughs> Okay, which one do I want here? So that fit in there. No, not like that. It will like that if I cover up a hole. And I have one available to do that with. Or I could go this way. So if I pull. <laughs> Too. Fills up I think a lot I'll of do that. That fills in a yeah, lot of spaces. Doesn't cover any holes. Right. So. That's pretty tidy. We'll work on that side or that side. I have holes I can work with over here, though. They almost seem to be near the same, aren't they? Much. Just where the hole is, I think, is the only difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh. Just curious how they, they are pretty much, yeah. Boy. I don't remember anywhere. This is the one I was going to go after. It's going to cover up a hole. Okay. Did he 
There's a couple of rows right That was a no brainer. Almost, yeah, almost two rows. Yeah, I noticed yeah. I put the rock in the wrong spot. <sighs> almost everywhere I look at one, he's got to get the little um, wooden rose thing here. So if I said, look, I think I'm covering up a hole and I can't. There you go. Oh, yeah, it would work that way mm -hmm. so that I could have an open hole to work yep. with. That'll be fine for me. Okay. That's gonna be hard to fill in there. Oh no, you get yeah. the little elbow ones. We get the three little, rocks. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to get four, four, rocks. four holes. Yeah, that's lined be up. tough. Yes, that's not so easy to do. But I can get a one or a two and make it easier. I or find the shape, shape, shape a piece that just happens to Z through there. Oh, I could get a three space one. Right there. I didn't put the compass on there. Did I grab that from here? No. That's probably my best option. I think I could do that. Oops. You have to make sure you don't bump all your pieces on your board, though. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to do it that way. I think I'll go back to plan A so I can get a three-space rock tile. Wow. And I think I will take one of these little L shaped ones and put it right here. And get yourself a marmot. Huh? And I will have to take a marmot. Thank you. And cover up that hole. Cover up the burrow. Uh, the playthrough I saw says they stick their head out to see what's going on because you cover up the front door, they stick their head out the back door. <laughs> what's going on? Oh, where's this going to be this? There's a little snake on that rock. Getting some sun for his little lizard right there. A little gecko or something. You see you cannot cover up a hole? If you, you can if you have an, an open one like you've got two open ones if you cover up one of these then you'll have to cover one of those with a marmot okay it's kind of your fee for covering up a hole but the marmot doesn't score any points or anything right right but these empty the, these available holes do do score points oh okay and even if you have a an, an a hole uncovered up here somewhere you'll score the one point for those even if they're not part of a a completed row down here. Okay. Okay. Move the signpost. I think I might have to cover up the whole thing. I think I put the compass there. Oh, yeah. Thank you. But if you cover that one, you'd be able to get a rock. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, and then yeah, that would get finish a rock your second row. Your second oh, yeah, row. that works well. Right here, mm -hmm. that'll all work. Might have to do that. All right, so I got to cover it up. It's my choice as to which one I want. Yes. To not that it matters. I no, not really. <laughs> just all right, and then you get one rock tile. I think I've looked at this and this is going to work. Yes, it will. Yep. So I'll keep that there. Okay. I don't think any of these are going to work the way I want them to for. I don't think any of them are going to work out exactly how I want them to for. Lining holes up. Oh, yeah, it will. It will indeed. I'll take that one. Okay, we're done with this row. And I got a two space, I got two holes together, so I need a one space rock tile. Okay, there we so go. it goes to Garrick's turn, but Garrick. And there's only one. To go. So you get around. the plus two picnic table there. Yep. All right, and I've got two, three, 42, uh, 43. 
We'll give you the, oh, the next row. Okay, I yeah, I have 10, 20, 30, 40 complete, two here, and one vacant. I have 37. I only have 32. Well, yeah, 32. You got to count the next partial row. I get to count this one? Yeah, count 30. that partial row. Yeah, you get to count that row. So 37, 38. Is that right? Sounds right. What about you, Jason? I don't even know. 30. I, I missed how you do scoring. Okay, okay. So you got a solid row and a solid row, so that's yeah. 20. And you get to count any part of this. Yes. Right, because there's okay. 10 blocks. And then count any block that's covered on this row. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You're at 26. Okay. The open hole okay. counts okay. 1 for 27. Yeah. Okay. So. So I have 37, 38, 39. 39. Okay. 40, 40. And I have 43. Yeah. So she'll okay. get the. So I'll get that. Mm -hmm. I'll refill the board. What ends the game? Somebody getting two hiking pins. Oh, okay. First person to get two pins. I remember you said that. That's okay. That's a good reminder. It's always good to know what the end condition is. And the win condition. Ooh, that's a big one. No holes. Yeah, I'd say. Right <laughs> I'm just going to do this. Okay. Yeah, we, don't, we don't start over at first play. Or? It's whoever's turn, whoever missed the turn last time. Missed a single square. Okay. So I missed the turn last time, that's why I went first the next row. That fills up another row for you, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm still the fourth player. Right. Oh, okay. Jerry. Yeah, he's up. A lot more options now, though. <clears throat> and if you're playing, the other side of the board is for one and three players, and you actually use the take a look. diagonals. Yeah, you want to look now? <laughs> you use the diagonals when you get to the corner. Uh, that's a row also in the one and three player game. Can yeah, <laughs> I keep that one? Yeah. That seems like a good play. Let's put the compass right here. some of those little L-shaped rock tiles. Yeah, if they're not hard, they're not easy to come by. Okay. I need a nice Z-shaped piece for that one hole, but I can't find it, so. I'll put the compass there. Maybe this way. shapes and you can kind of there like I said there are pips on the edge of the board so you can kind of look ahead and see what row yeah, will been, be yours I've been and, doing uh, that. on a future play yep I'm just in the head several times already I would have to have a two-spaced rock tile there pull that in or 
microscope or something like that. Back to this one. All right. That may be a terrible mistake, but we'll go with it and see. I know which one I want to play, but the problem with that is that it's going to make that one pretty short. Yes. I have a three <laughs> coming to me, which will cover this right there. Wait, where's the three? One, two, three, four. So it counts even if the marmot's on Actually, it? Actually, you've got five oh, there, got so five you can there. take a four space for a while. Even if the marmot's on it, you still get to count the hole. Oh, did you already cover that one up? I just would right now. Yeah, to put that piece down, he has to put, put the marmot on it. He just put it on there to cut because he was well, covering that. Yeah, right. does it? Do so, I yeah. get the... Yes. yes I still do. get it? Yeah. But that's going to mess this whole thing up if I do that. Mm -hmm. So I can't continue it on if I do that. Right. Just empty holes. Maybe I don't want to do that. He's going for some big time ones if he wants to go for more. Huh? I could do this. I could do. Is that right? Once you fill it up, then that would block it, I would think. She says if the hole or holes of a newly placed meadow tile is horizontally and or vertically adjacent to at least one other hole, it's a group. When you create or expand a group, you take the hole. So it's talking about a hole. So, so I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to grab the... Read a part about the marmot. Oh, grab Oops. that. Let's just go back with what my new original thing is. <laughs> that's that's the best. <laughs> so I don't care if I, yeah. So do I get the the tile first, and then it just blocks it off? So if you have to put a marmot, you in get there. your you get your rock tile. A rock tile first. Yeah, you can which get your rock tile, the, but then the you'll have to one, cover it up. Yeah. Which I'm going to put here, nice. and then I cover up the. So then I can. So then it's starting off with a one. Yeah. Okay, that, that'll work. But you got your money's worth out of it, I think, though. <laughs> I got my money, so. So you got these two. Yeah, I'll have to take yep. the double circle. Nope. Yep. Yeah. You faked this out so many times we had it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't move it back and forth. <laughs> Wait, come on, come on. <laughs> well, we know Jason's player four anyway, so. This will finish a row. Yeah, but there's another piece that I want to... Okay. Unless the round ends before then. It shouldn't. No, uh, it's pretty it won't, low it won't. Yeah. I'm gonna have to The only row that's really vacant is this one, and it'll be a while before I, we get I, back around to I that. I did not play this game very well, I can tell. You guys... But that hole at least we have there, we can build on it. If I put it here, I'm going to cover up... I'm going to lose that. Put it right there. Yeah, but... That, He's looking ahead I, of his I want next this piece, piece here oh. so I can put it here. Yeah. yeah. So I can fill up. Yeah. So I was hoping to get a rock maybe to fill in this. Could I have to or cover use that to fill in this. Yeah, and then that way you've got a hole up on top. When you play your T over there, you'll have that little bit. Without a rock. Yeah, but the hole, oh well. And you then you, if like you get that. a hole here, like it says, you'll have two holes. And uh, yeah, this is probably because of the gaps. 
That's yeah, you can build it. off of that one, that top one. Yeah, okay. Advance that. Boop. Give me the one on the far end with the windrows put on it. I think this is the Z I've been needing to get out of this <laughs> hole. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's good. I'll keep it. <laughs> you sure you don't want to um, you know, try any I other mean, pieces? Geez, think it over? It would be nice, but, uh, <laughs> No, we'll get a on them. All the right. Off. I'm going to see if this squirrely looking thing will Kind of trying to visualize that thing. I think that's going to work nice. And, and it will, except it's going to cover up a hole. It won't that way, though. That it fills is in very much nice. better. Much, much better. Okay. That was easy. Derek. Hmm. We both found just the right little piece that we needed. Oh, and Jason already has, has his eye on one. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I need to get. Oh. Do not like that one. Going to cover up moss. Putting it back? Yeah. Okay. It's going to cover up all my holes. Oops. We'll just do this. All right. He likes yep. rocks, you can tell. He's he a does rock, like rocks. He's a rock collector. <laughs> I am rock. Rocky. Collector. I'm going to just keep collecting rocks. Slide the signpost. Yep, we know what PC's going on. Oh, yeah, he doesn't. I guess I'll read that because he's already got it all visualized. Gosh, Jason, hurry up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Z one in the corner, I believe. But Let's move that. I think that let me fill two different rows here. So I can't complain about that. Is that good? Uh, not collecting rocks, but I'll keep it there. Yep. And I had better probably go in this row if I possibly can. And I think my only option to do that Boy, I don't know will be like this. That. What's coming up? I don't like covering up the hole, but yeah. I don't think, let's see, one, I may not get another, will I get another turn? I may not get another turn this round, so I better complete that row. You do, you'll have another turn. Uh, no, because you know uh, there's I two here when marmot. it turns a corner. If either one of these gets played, yeah. she right. won't. Uh, I need a marmot there. though, because I covered up a okay. hole to fill that row. Thank you. Okay, are you done? Yes. All right. Now I'm not really sure which one I'm taking, so let's put the compass, compass. there. Let's see what this is going to be here. This can't be nothing. All right, it's going to cover up the mark. It's going to cover up the hole. Hmm. You can see that again. I can keep being full mm. again. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can just keep it going right here. Okay, Jason. You still have four pieces to choose from. Yes. Lucky you. Yeah, but they're all pretty. And one may the, or may this not one get here is turn. terrible. <laughs> Or it is for me anyway. It reminds me of the little uh, Galaga. Was it Galaga? Which mm -hmm. game was it I liked with oh, the little so ships? The little Galaga <laughs> ship, yeah. <laughs> I love that game. I did too. Actually, spent a lot of change, <laughs> a lot of loose change in that game when I was a kid. Well, Lots of quarters. I think it's the point for the hole that way. Is that it? Take a single rock and okay, I will get another turn. 
one. That's a really weird looking piece up there. That would be nice. So that would give me three points actually. Okay, I'll go with that. I won't even try out the other one. Trying to get a rock. Yeah, you need one. <laughs> Cut a metal <laughs> like that, wouldn't it? Yep. That would give me a three, wouldn't it? No, it would give me a two, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. A two. But I think you'd cover up a marmot hole to do it, and you don't have one available, do you? Right here. Oh, you do? Okay. That's going to end it. Uh, let's see. Ted. No, Ted will I'll still. get one. Wendy will not. Jason will still have these to choose from. Let's see what yeah. this thing will cover up. Yeah, yeah, Wendy, if I take this one, we'll end it. If I take that one, it could go on around to Gary's. What was that right here? Oh, really the, the game could end right now, but right after this round. Could, yeah. Well, this is the one I'm going to have to take. Yeah, it fills in a row real nice. You have to have a rock to fill in a row. I do. How did we end up with one whole empty row? Oh, because we came at it from a different angle. Mm -hmm. And emptied it. Yeah, this column has been popular. That was the one we were saying that, that was the only piece left in it, and it's gone all the way back around. <laughs> <coughs> Okay. okay. Want a T or you want a square? Neither one's what you need, is it? Let's see, what is it? It ends on the. On Wendy. It'll end here. On Wendy will get yeah. a turn, right? No. I get a turn and then it will end. Okay. okay. Which is not good. But remember, if even if you can't complete a row with any of those uh, if you just if you leave a one of those holes if you cover if you put this so that it leaves one of those holes open then you'll get a point for that no matter where it is so if nothing else just if you, if you leave one of these leave a hole open all right I'll have a square Okay, I'm gonna fence this on, and I'm just gonna take. If you put it, I mean, it fits good there long term, but if you put it down here, it'll get you a point this oh, round. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Whereas that row's not gonna score this round. Oh, we may be done right for this. Right. We're good. Because anything above that row is not going to score this time. Yes. Finish another row. Mm, nice. And okay. then you get a plus two. I get a plus two. And I have. That's 50, isn't it? Yeah. 20, 30, 40, 50, 8, 50. I have 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 63. Oh, I have 62 because I've got the bonus. 67. 67. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 complete. Mm, 6 complete. Plus 5, yeah. plus 2 holes, 67, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 58. I have 62. And Ted has 67. 
So Ted wins the last. Ted Ten is winners. the big winner. Big winner. Good game. Different. <laughs> it's all right. Yes, and if you like this, I would say most people you would like Indian Summer, but Garrick's the exception that does that likes this one, but really isn't all that crazy about Indian Summer. I love okay. Indian Summer. Um, boards are a little more square shaped. Um, the way you and they're tile laying games where you have to fill in like this, but it's amazing how different they are. <laughs> the way you draw the tiles is different. The way they score is different, and the, the, the board has a fall look to it. And it's very beautiful, rocks. and I like it's it very much. Marmots. So, and I don't know if you like this one, you might check out Indian Summer, and they have it on the uh, here at the game shop. They have it on the demo bookshelf, so you could always give it a try. Come in and try it out. <clears throat> right. Plus, the cool thing is, no one's commented yet, but if you comment on the video, uh, Kim is giving 20% off of this game, and she's also giving 20% off of Indian Summer and Cottage Garden. Also so. by the same designer. So, always good to do that. Pass me the bag, and I'll bag these. And